Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, we are here with the next game in my second round, round robin tournament. And today, the matchup will be the 1983 California Angels, who were 70 and 92 going up against the 2018 Houston Astros, who were 103 and 59. So, um, the visiting team is the Angels. We are in Houston. Pitching for the Astros, the home team will be Dallas Keuchel. Going on the mound against the 83 Angels. So I'm not going to dilly-dally here. Let's get started with it. And uh, in that vein, we're going to start off. The first batter for the California Angels of 1983 will be Juan Benitez. And he gets a 4-8, which is a double 1-16. to 16. And he does get a double. So, big hit there for... Juan Beniquez and Keuchel is immediately on the ropes. That brings up Bobby Gritch, the second baseman, and he gets a 5-5, which is a home run 1-5 or a double. And that's going to be a double that's going to knock in another run. And the Angels jump out to, a, to a, an early lead here with Rod Carew, the first baseman, up, and he gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball shortstop. So that's one away. Keuchel finally gets the first out of the game. Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson gets a 4-3, which is a ground ball to the first baseman, but that's going to move the runner to third, and the Angels now have two outs with a runner 90 feet away from scoring. And that brings up Freddie Lynn, the center fielder, and he gets a 6-11, which is a fly ball to right. The right fielder is Reddick, and he has a 1, and that is a 12, and he's out. So... Fred Lynn is out, but the Angels did score first and get out on top, one nothing. So that brings up the Astros lineup, and pitching today for the 83 Angels will be Bruce Keeson. Uh, Bruce Keeson in 1983 was 11-5 with a 405 earned run average, and in 127 innings pitched, he allowed 128 hits. He'll face Jose Altuve as the first batter. He gets a 5-11. It's a ground ball to the first baseman. The first baseman is um, Rod Carew, and he's a 4. And that's a 1. That's going to be a single. So, that is, that is a single, right? So, Altuve leads off with a hit. And we will... Keep that right there, and then we give a hit, because they got one. And uh, Yuli Gurriel is the second batter. He gets a 2-4, which is a home run 1-10 to or a double. And that's going to be a double. And El Tuve, I'm assuming, can run, so we're going to see if we're, they're going to send him a team. And that ball was hit to center field. The center fielder's arm is, uh, let's see, who's in center? Fred Lynn. He does score. So the Houston Astros tie it by sending their man an extra base on that double. So Guriel also gets an RBI. And that brings up Alex Bregman, and he gets a 4-7, which is a single, and they can score another guy. Let's see, Bregman with the hit. And that's Guriel running, is a 1-11, to they're not going to try it. But it is another hit for the Astros, and they have runners at the corners with, I believe, no, they don't have any outs, so... 
Let's see. You can we record outs on here? I don't know. But anyway, I don't think there are any because they've gotten three straight hits. So that brings up George Springer. And George Springer gets a 4-8, which is a single one to 14. And that is a single and knocks in a run. There's the first out for Keeson. Josh Reddick is up. He gets a 5-9, which is a fly ball right field B. That's two away. And that brings up Carlos Correa, and he gets a 2-4, which is a fly ball. That was a down year for Carlos Correa. That year he only hit 239. And I think he had some injuries that he was dealing with that year as well. So the Astros get two runs, and they take a 2-1 to one lead. Doug DeSense is up at the plate for the Angels. He gets a 4-10, which is a pop-out to the shortstop, one away. Brian Downing is up. He gets a 3-5, which is a single. The second, Bob Boone is up. One down, one man on. 6-10 is a fly ball to the center fielder. That's Springer. He's a two, I believe. He is a two, and he is. And that is a three. That's not going to be good. So we have an error, the first error of the game, and that's by the Astros. And it's by George Springer, which is an unlikely person to be making that error. And now the Angels have runners at second and third with one down. The um, Astros will not play the infield in. Tim Foley is up. He gets a 5-7, which is a walk. And so now the bases are loaded. Keuchel walks Tim Foley. And up steps Juan Benitez, and he gets a 5-7. And that's a walk. He walks in a run. Second walk for Keuchel. Bobby Gritch up. He gets a 6-12. That is a fly ball right field B, but that'll score a run. Two out. Gritch. And that's another run for the Ast the uh, Angels, I mean. And that's an unearned run, actually. So let's change that. And Rod Carew comes up and he gets a 6-11, which is a fly ball to right. The right fielder is a 1. That is a 9. I believe that's an out. It is. So Carew is out, and the Angels get two runs there. Bottom of the second, down by a run. The score is 3-2. to two. Marvelous Marwin Gonzalez is up. He gets a 5-8, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is Bobby Gritch, and he's a 2. That's a 3 and a 2. What's that going to be? That's going to be an out. So Marvelous Marwin is out for the first out of the second inning for the Astros. Tony Kemp is up. Tony Kemp playing left field today. He gets a 4-10. That is a catcher's card. Bob Boone is the catcher, and he's a 1. And that's a 6. So let's see what 6 and 1 is a catcher, and that is an out on dribbler. So there's two away. Kemp is out. Bob Boone making the play. And up steps Jose El Tuve. He gets a 5-8. That's a ground ball to the second baseman. That's Gritch, and he's a 2. That is a 10 and a 2 at second. And that's an out. So 
No runs come across for Houston there. They get the goose egg. We go to the top of the third. With Reggie Jackson up. And he gets a 3-5, which is a walk. Another walk for Keuchel. They, they may come back to really haunt him. Fred Lynn, Freddie Lynn gets a 1-7 at the ground ball B. So now Fred Lynn is on first. It's a fielder's choice. Doug DeSense up. He gets a 2-11, which is a ground ball into a double play at second base. And that is going to be the, uh, the inning. With the Astros losing so far to the... Uh, Angels by the score of 3-2. to two. Yuli Gurriel is up. He gets a 3-7, which is a pop-out to short. One away. Alex Bregman comes up. He gets a 2-5, which is a walk. Bregman manages to draw the walk from Keeson with one out. George Springer up. He gets a 5-6. That is a double one to 12. And that is going to be a double. So now Houston has a threat going on here. Springer with a double. One out, runners at second and third for Houston. The Angels won't bring the infield in too early and they have a run, one run lead. Evan Gaddis is up. You get the 2-6, which is a pop-out to third. Two away. And that brings up Reddick. And Reddick gets a 1-5, which is a walk and loads the bases. And now it is Keeson who's having the loss of control out there. Reddick with a walk. And Carlos Correa comes up, and he gets a 2-8, which is a strikeout. So they didn't really need to see that. Facing Dallas Keuchel. 6-7 is a single. So Downing gets a hit. And that's going to be the fourth hit for the Angels. Bob Boone is up. He gets the 3-9, which is a single. And that's a single with no asterisks. And so they'll just hold uh, Downing because he's not a big runner. Bob Boone with the hit. Tim Foley is up. He gets a 5-8. That is a fly ball. Um left field B and so Foley is out but I think that that is that's the first out Juan Benitez is up he gets a 110 which is a line out to shortstop that's two away and Bobby Gritch and Bobby Gritch gets a 1-6 which is a single that could load the bases. Um, but it is another hit off Keuchel. There we go. And Rod Carew is up. He gets a 1-7, which is a single double asterisk and knocks in two runs on that hit with Reggie Jackson up. 110 is a ground ball first base, and he is out. And Marvelous Marwin is up. He'll lead off for the Astros here. He gets a 3 7, which is a ground ball shortstop. One away. Tony Kemp is up. He gets a 5 7, which is a strikeout. That's the third strikeout for Keeson today. 
and El Tuve is up, you get the three five, which is a single. So two out hit by um, El Tuve. And he's two for three today. And Yuli Gurriel is up, and he gets a 2-9, which is a ground ball shortstop. And so Gurriel is out, and that's going to bring the Angels. The Angels are going to send up Fred Lynn as the first hitter here. And that's a 1-5, which is a walk. And that is just way too many walks. For, let's see here, Lynn with a walk. And they are going to go to the bullpen. Well, they're going to get the bullpen up. We are relatively early in the game. It's going to be Brad Peacock for the Astros with Doug DeCince up. Five eleven. That's a ground ball first base. The first baseman for the Astros is Marwin, marvelous Marwin, and he's a two. That is a 20 and a 2 is an, a roll again. And that's a 1 and a 2. That's not good. It's a single. So Doug DeCincy gets a hit. And that's another hit for the Angels. Eight hits already for them. And Brian Downing is up. He gets a 4-4. That is a fly ball center field. Is that the first out? Let's see. I believe so. Yes, it is. That's the first out. And Bob Boone is up. Bob Boone gets a 4-8. That is a double one to 16. And that's going to be a single double asterisk. So Bob Boone gets a hit. Drives in a run. Uh, so let's see here. Um, Angels with a hit and another run. And that's going to be it for Keigel. Um, Brad Peacock. Brad Peacock on in relief and he'll face Tim Foley. They're going to look for the double play to try to get out of the inning. He gets a 2-5, which is a fly ball B instead, and knocks in another run. And that is going to be Keuchel's run as well. And up steps Beniquez, and he gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout. So, mercifully, that inning ends, but not before the Angels manage to score two more runs. And we go to the bottom of the fifth inning with the Angels ahead 7-2. to But Keeson wasn't the greatest that year, so Alex Bregman gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball third base. And that's one out. George Springer gets a 2-9, which is a double one to 15. And that is going to be a double. So the Astros have a base runner now. Let's see if they can do something with it. And that is, uh, Springer is three for three on the day with two doubles. I gotta catch this up. I think they've got seven hits according to my scorecard, so. Evan Gaddis is up. He gets a 6-8. That is a fly ball left field. That's two away. And that brings up Josh Reddick. And he gets a 6-11. It's a ground ball. Or that's a fly ball to right. The right fielder is a 2. That's Beniquez. And that is going to be a 12. I believe that's an out. And it is, and Reddick is out. So, and ends the inning, we go to the top of the sixth. With the 
83 Angels, who were far worse than the Astros that year record-wise. In fact, they were 30 games worse. 33 games worse. But they're taking it to them right now. And Bobby Gritch is going to lead off against Peacock. That's a 1-6. That's a single. There's just no stopping this Angels team. They are, they are determined to hit and get on base and, and wreak havoc no matter who's out there. And the Angels get another hit. And Rod Carew comes up. He gets a 4-9. That's a triple one to six or a double. Are you kidding me? That's a double. So that's going to have runners at second and third. Another hit. That's a the 11th hit for the Angels. The Astros will bring the infield in, this time with Reggie Jackson up. 1-5 is a strikeout, even though he's a double play uh, possibility. But he strikes out, which is just as well, as long as no runs came in. They're going to keep the infield in with one out, Fred Lynn up. 4-7 is a strikeout. That's two away. So the Angels are choking right now. And Doug DeSense comes up and he gets a 3-7, which is a strikeout. So after allowing the first two guys on, and it's second and third, no less, Brad Peacock strikes out the next three batters. And they will bring up Carlos Correa. He gets a 2-11. That's a ground ball shortstop. One away. Marvelous Marwin gets a 4-4. That's going to be a walk. So they've got, they do have a guy on. Although now, you know, they're down by five runs. They've got to put a lot of stuff together here. Tony Kemp is up. He gets a 2-9. That is a fly ball center field. There's two away. And Jose El Tuve gets a ground ball to the shortstop, and that ends the inning. With the score, 83 Angels 7 and the 2018 Astros 2. Brian Downing is up. He gets a 5-8. That's a strikeout, and that's, I think, the fourth straight strikeout for Peacock. Downing goes downing. Bob Boone is up. He gets a 4-8. That's a strikeout. So Peacock is just bringing the gas right now, and they need him to. And Tim Foley is up, and he gets a 1-10, which is a double one to six or a single. And that's going to be a single for Tim Foley. The Angels have a man aboard with two down. That's their 12th hit. And Juan Bonica is up. He gets a 6-7. And that's a strikeout. Yuli Gurriel is up. He gets a 6-7. That is a strikeout. One away. Bregman is up. He gets a 1-9. That's a ground ball to the shortstop. Two outs. And George Springer's up. He gets a 6-4. And that's an automatic home run. George Springer takes Keeson deep. It would have been a lot better for the Astros if somebody had been able to get on base. But... Springer is 4-for-4 four four with three doubles and a home run in this game. They really should stop pitching to Springer, you would think. That's the eighth hit for the Astros and their third run of the game and makes the score 7-3 to three with Josh Reddick up. And he gets a 1-4, which is a ground ball first base B. And they're down by four. They're going to bring in another reliever. Ryan Presley.
case is Bobby Gritch with his team down by four. Three nine is a walk. It was the only thing in the column and he got it. So Gritch draws the walk. Rod Carew gets a 1-8. That's a single 1-12. to 12. It is indeed a single. And so now the Angels have the first two guys on this inning off of Presley. And Carew is 3-5, for five, no less. And that is another hit for the Angels. Reginald Jackson. Reggie Jackson gets a 4-8. That is a triple one or a single double asterisk. That's going to score a run. And it does. And runners are now at the corners. Reggie Jackson getting a hit and an RBI. Presley has yet to even get an out. And with runners at the corners and the score as bad as it is, they're just going to hope for the double play or strikes out, strikeouts or whatever. Fred Lynn is up. He gets a 4-4. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. That is Korea. Korea is a 2 at short. That's a 5. Shortstop 5-2 five, is an out 1. So the run scores... Lynn was out, but he did knock in a run. And it is 9-3. The 83 Angels are taking it to the 18 Astros in game one here. DeSense is a 4-8. That is a triple one or a single double asterisk. This is crazy. This is the craziest offensive output I think I've seen in the tournament. And so DeSense does get a hit. Scores a run. And it is ten to three. Downing up. He gets a five ten, which is a catcher card. Gaddis is a five. That's not gonna help anything. 19 and 5 at catcher is a wild pitch followed by oh, wait a minute no it's yeah it is wild pitch followed by foul out so the runner goes to second and that's the first out i believe of the inning oh no it isn't that's it's two down two down and a runner at second and uh bob boone is up and he gets three two which is a fly ball to right so, mercifully, that inning also ends against Keeson, who hasn't really pitched all that great, but he's got such a big lead. Who cares? That's a fly ball to left for Korea, so he's out. Marwin Gonzalez gets a 2-9. That's a strikeout. And Tony Kemp is up. And he gets a 111, which is the ground ball first base A. I mean, they would bring up a pinch hitter, except, you know, there's no really need to do that just yet because they're not even close. So the Astros get nothing there. We go to the top of the ninth. Tim Foley up. He gets a 4 6. That's a strikeout, one away. The Astros, I guess their strategy was to just tire the Angels hitters out. 2-7 is a single. Benitez, he's not tired. He's, he's two for five today with a double. And that's another hit. Bobby Gritch is up. He gets a 3-4, which is a ground ball shortstop double play. So they get out of the inning. No runs allowed. And we are going to the bottom of the ninth. Where the Astros 
are going to need seven runs. Don't really see that happening even off a of gassed Kike Keeson, which you have to think is the case. El Tuve is up. He gets a 4-7, which is a single. But El Tuve's not giving in. He's three for five today. And that is another hit for the Astros. Guriel is up. He gets a 6-6. That is a ground ball shortstop. That's Tim Foley. He is a three at short. That's an 18. Let's see what that is. 18 and 3 is roll again. That's an 18. Roll again. That is a 4. 4 and 3 is an out 1. Moves the runner to second. One away. So Guriel is out. Bregman is up. He gets a 6-7. That's a strikeout. Two away. And California, the good thing for them is they're going to have a well-rested bullpen for game two. Springer is up. He gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball shortstop. And that is the game. The um, Astros get nothing there. And uh, that's our final score. 10-3 Angels of 1983 taking it to the 2018 Astros. Of course, this is a best of five series. So the Angels still need to manage to win two more games against this juggernaut 18 Astros team. But they have made a big step in that direction by winning game one. So that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.